Restored Live, brought to you in part by Alt Driver. Well, guys, welcome to another live revival video here. Uh, if you notice, if you watched any of our other live videos, we got a little bit different uh, surroundings here. So this big old girl just will not fit inside of our shop. Uh, when we bought it, we knew it was big, but when we actually got it down here to the shop, we knew that there was no way that we were going to get it inside. It's been cloudy all day. We've been hoping that it's not going to rain on us. Still don't know if it's going to or not. We have a game plan if it starts to. Uh, we try to set up most of our cameras kind of out of the out of the weather if that happens. Uh, but if it does, we're just going to go through it. Uh, the goal is to try to see if we can get this old girl up and running today. Uh, it's been sitting for quite a while now. We bought it from an old farmer. Uh, I believe they were using it. And as you can tell, it looks like they were using it pretty hard. Uh, the back of the frame has actually gotten bent just a little bit. So we're not really sure if they had it overloaded or if something hung up on the hydraulics when it was tilting back or what or what on that. So uh, we're hoping that we can get it running. We're hoping that we can see the bed work and all that mess on it as well. Uh, but right now we just want to check, make sure everything looks, it sounds okay. And then we'll go ahead and dig into this girl and see what we got. So we got any comments so far about how it's uh, sounding? Uh, not yet, which is a good sign. <laughs> yeah, hopefully everything looks and sounds okay. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to our friends at Alt Driver uh, on their Facebook page. We're also streaming on there as well. Uh, so if you haven't checked them out, be sure to go out and check out their Facebook page. Uh, really cool automotive content all the time on there, so be sure to go and give them a follow on that page. Uh, you, can watch, uh, you can watch us on their platform as well as you can on this restored YouTube platform as well. So. Uh, if everything looks and sounds good, uh, we're going to go ahead and dig into this. You see, see something? I see a bunch of them that says sounds good. Mom said sounds good, so. Cool. So, yeah, I guess we got mom. Mom's been running some errands for us uh, today, so big thanks to my mom for doing that. So, uh, so guys, what we got here, this is actually a 67 model Chevrolet C50. Uh, so it's going to be a, like a medium-style truck. A lot of these trucks would have been used for agriculture use. I mean, a lot of them would have been used out on the farm. Uh, we put out the little teaser last night on it and titled it as a dump truck and got a lot of comments saying it's not a dump truck, it's a grain truck with a dump, dump bed. So uh, I guess to me, if it dumps, it dumps. It's, it's but, dump. <laughs> so anyways, but this is a 67 model, like I said. Probably the original motor here, you can show them, Christian. What we've got is just an inline six cylinder here. Uh, I believe it's a 292. I think that's what we come up yep. with on yep. it. So the last video we actually did uh, was an inline six as well. Very similar. So we had to kind of figure out what it, what it was as well. Uh, but we've got a, we don't really have a lot of extra parts on this one. That We no. haven't bought a whole <laughs> lot of stuff. We looked at it. It looks like it has a new cool. Uh, the wires don't look too bad on it as well as the plug. So we're just going to see if it'll turn over and uh, see if it's getting a little fire. Like I said, my goal is to hopefully see this thing uh, crank up. I'd love to see this bed tilt. I don't know why it's so crooked. Maybe it's, I hope the pump's still good on it. I don't even know how to work that stuff. So <laughs> Dad, uh, he working at the city, he's worked a dump truck before. So also, I forgot to mention, as we're getting into this, we are outside. So I don't know if anybody is going to come up here, but if they do, <laughs> we'll work through that as well. So. Uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is it did have an old battery on it, but we're knowing that's not any good. We're going to pull that battery off, uh, start checking some fluids, and see if we can get this thing to turn over. You almost need a step stool, and I may have to go grab <laughs> one. So on the engine oil, uh, it looks really good little over full doesn't smell too gassy i'm betting that they probably just uh, overfilled it maybe it leaks a little oil and oftentimes when they'll do that it's just easiest sometimes to overfill it because you <laughs> just a tad because you know it's going to leak out some but got a little bit about half full on the on the radiator here smells like antifreeze so it's that's a good thing don't have any freeze plugs or anything popped out that we see so far but and if it is, it probably dirt diver's already filled it back up, so several dirt divers. 
I'm going to go ahead and take that fuel line off so that we don't try to pump up any. Okay. Yeah, so this old fuel. truck uh, was going to go ahead and grease up the, uh, the door hinges for y'all, but really not so bad. So hopefully it don't squeak it later on for us. But it actually had the keys in it. And from my experience, I've, we've bought a lot of old cab overs and a lot of uh, just old farm equipment and stuff. And that's, that's just kind of what they do. They just leave the keys in it. If somebody yeah. needs to move it most of the time, they can hop in and... Uh, it's got gas already up here to it. Really? Yep. What'd it look like? I don't know. I can smell it. It's, smell bad? Yeah, I just loosened the hose and it started coming out. So it smells old. Yeah, I smell it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take this breather off here. So yeah, guys, hopefully, uh, hopefully y'all been having a good week. Uh, I know it's been a little while since we've put a, had a video out. Uh, we have been extremely busy with this and that in the background. Uh, hopefully, hopefully a lot of that stuff will be worked out before too long. So, uh, and we have been working really hard on, I know we've been saying it a while, but we've been working really hard. I don't know why I grabbed a needle nose to do that with. <laughs> I guess I was concentrating more on talking. But, uh, we've been working really hard on getting uh, the Herbie video. You see what color it is? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Looks like root beer, don't it? Yeah. Looks like I've drank too many Cokes. <laughs> Go ahead and pull this breather off. Well, that's a good sign, though. Yeah. I guess it is. Yeah. They won't put something up underneath there. I figured. It's still draining? Yeah. It may have, I may have to put a bolt or something in that. It's probably gravity feeding, huh? Yeah, I think so. That's what I was. Flowing out of the tank. Thank you, Band List, for the $10 super chat. Said, thank you for the great content, guys. God bless you and your amazing family. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much, like I said, for being patient with us and. Uh, I promise you guys, we are we are trying and we're working really hard uh, to keep up right now. We just got a lot of stuff going on. I'm just going to set that sideways for right now. Okay. The old carburetor don't look too bad. I didn't check the brakes. Uh, well, we did check the brakes yeah. when we were trying to move it up in here. We had the, the wrecker guys dropped it off here at the shop. And uh, so we pulled it around on the forklift, as you guys saw. And Dad tried the brakes, no brakes at all. So we went to put it in gear and uh, just use it, you know, use the clutch for our brakes when we get ready to stop, you know, just let off the clutch so it's in gear. And uh, that didn't do nothing either. So I know this has a two-speed rear end on it. We're hoping that maybe once this thing cranks up, it runs off a vacuum here. Uh, so we're hoping maybe once that vacuum uh, starts getting a suction, that thing will maybe go into the low gear or the high gear. I think it's in between gears right now is what we're hoping. So if not, if it fires up, we may just have a drive shaft spinning back there and not go nowhere. But I have faith we might get a little further than that, hopefully. I thought I had that fixed, but it's still dripping. I better put a snug on it. I hate to kill all the grass in our drive. <laughs> so we got about 800 people or so watching with us right now. What we're going to go ahead and do, Dad's, well, he's got the battery, but not hooked up yet. I thought he had it hooked up. Yeah. So uh, we were just trying to douse it down with gas real good right there before we hook <laughs> up the battery. That way, if, it, if we got anything that's uh, shorting out or whatever, this will be good entertainment for you guys. Yeah. I have, a, I have a nice fire we can't get get to or get away from. Uh, when are we going to see the Volkswagen Bug video? So we've been doing this a little bit different style than uh, on our normal videos. Normally we will film it, film everything through, and then, uh, and then edit it all in the end. So my little sister Christian has been helping out a ton on this, on this new video, on the editing and on the filming, of course. Uh, but we've been editing as, as we go on it. So uh, we're a pretty good little ways on there. We've got all the suspension work done. We're, we're about to be painting it right now. So we're painting it. And uh, let's just say she's definitely come to life, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> she's, 
She's come to life, and uh, if for some strange reason you remember this comment when you watch it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, you ready, or? You're just going to see if it turns over? I'm going to see if it'll turn over okay. with the key. All righty. I just want to see. See what it does. I want to make sure we got her in neutral. Yeah, definitely make sure of that. It's kind of hard to find though. There we go. All right, we're in neutral. I got the clutch pressed in just in case. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Clear? Yeah, I'm clear as I'm going to get. All right. Click. Bad connection. It could be, yeah. Try it again. No. Yeah. Is it well, on the battery or at the start? I think it's uh, the uh, connectors. Let's get a good clean in here real quick. On the cables? Yeah. Just getting a little click. The gauges on the inside were actually. Uh, I probably threw you off. The gauges on the inside were actually uh, coming on and stuff, though. And yeah, there is fuel in it. The fuel gauge is working, so. So we didn't buy, <laughs> we really didn't buy a lot of parts for this thing. Uh, honestly, main reason is uh, a little low on funds <laughs> and uh, just lack of time. So we'll try it again. We'll make it work. We have other things that have parts on it as well, so. <laughs> We don't mind robbing from one. I'm wondering if it ain't where the cable goes in to the, uh, uh, the, the end of it, if you might lift it up a hair. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's going to be it on the, on the ground side. Which one is it? Elliot Henning asked, is the transmission a four-speed or five-speed? Um, it's actually a four-speed in this. And then it's got just the high and low uh, little lever on there to shift the rear end, I'm supposing. We didn't get a camera set up inside, but later on, if we're able to get this thing up and running, uh, we're, we're probably going to grab our side camera and try to move it on the inside to show you guys around a little bit on that. <clears throat> okay, we'll try that. If not, All I'll right. clean the wires up. Turning over. What's that not that, that clicking? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I heard it, but I'll do it again. I was oh, trying I just... to just let some oil. Could you hear it pretty loud out here? Yeah, it was pretty loud out here. I was looking for a woodpecker or something. Well, I hope it ain't got a thrown rod or main bearing or something like rod bearing or we'll see. To me, it sounds like it's coming from like the transmission area. It's somewhere back that direction, but I really can't tell much about it. Check out the oil again, make sure that it's... See, it looked pretty good. Did it sound like it was up top or down low? Hard to tell. Hard to tell, it's a... Well, I just move forward on it and <laughs> hope it's neither one transmission or the motor. Like you said up there, it's kind of hard to hear, but it sounds like it's like right, uh, I mean, right under the shift. The oil looks really good, but it's it is over full. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we've got her turning over, guys. Uh, hearing a little bit of a, a rattle of some sort. Um, I'm hoping it's nothing in this lower end of the motor. Uh, I don't know what in the transmission would be making that sound. Uh, you normally never want to kind of hear any kind of rattle like that. Uh, but we're going to move forward on it. We're going to see if we're getting any fire. Uh, we're going to kind of jump the gun here and just check the fire uh, just at the plugs now, just to see at the points. I'm sure we're going to have to clean the points and stuff. Uh, but it's, sometimes it's just fun just to see. Maybe it's sparking a little bit. Yeah. Uh... 
So on this ignition setup, uh, we just got a uh, point set up in here and your coil. Uh, coal sends down there to the points they spark across. It's got a distribute a rotor button in there that just sends it to this cap, sends it to these wires, sends it to your spark plugs, gas from some carburetors in your cylinder, boom, and then it goes out your exhaust. So uh, dad's got this little tool here. We're just gonna check the uh, check the spark on these real quick. He'll hook that in and when I turn it over, it should spark inside there uh, if it's sending it to the spark plugs. We're also going to have to find out for sure, we'll see if we're getting any uh, fire from our ignition switch to our coil there. Here we go. Yeah, we're getting spark. Really? Yeah. Decent or? Yeah, yeah, it was decent. Man, that noise kind of <laughs> bothers me. Decent enough to try to see if it'll pop off? Yeah, or? yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the thing about these old motors, though, is they're, they're pretty common, and they're, they're pretty solid old engines, too. I mean, most of the time, uh, as, as long as you've got fluids in them, they'll last forever. Maybe this thing got a little low, or maybe it's... Let's check out the mileage to see what it even shows. I know these odometers roll over. Uh, so it's showing 15, 16,000, so 115,000. I know it's not going to be, what's that? A... Charlotte's Web. <laughs> I just hope I don't find the. But the motor's the pretty mileage. clean. There's not a lot of grease or oil on it or anything like that. But. Once again, if it was running a little low, little low on oil and they had them RPMs up, uh, it could have messed up some kind of bearing in it. So but, try some fuel yeah, in we're going to put some fuel in this thing and see if it tries to pop off. Been setting up the registration anyway shows in, uh, well, two different stickers on there in 2010, 2011, so around uh, about 10 years this thing's been last it was registered which uh, quite a while if I can't fill the bowl up a little bit maybe it's gonna try to fill up the the bowl there uh, the way it, if it does crank up maybe it'll run a little run bit a little bit on its own and be able to tell what that noise is maybe Well, give it a shot. I'll be ready to kill it in case that noise is a little bit. Right. I'm going to yeah. see if the uh, throttle. Do what? Yeah. When I hit the throttle, is that it? that need to come completely off? It's working, yeah, let right? me go ahead because it's, it's hanging on it. It's trying to. Yeah, I don't want it to hang and rev up. At least the linkage is working. Yeah, that's the first one and last couple that we worked on. I'm gonna save the choke. Nah, choke's not. Oh yeah, it works. Is it working? Is it yeah. closed all the way? It's almost all the way. All right, I'll just try it open right now. Okay. Here we go, guys. You wanna set on the side just in case? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Kill it. We got a we got water spraying everywhere. What is it? We got a hose that's split. So, but I mean, it's it's running. It's just water spraying everywhere. You can hear that rattle though. Oh wow, yeah, that thing's just busted. Yeah, busted out. wide open. Um, let me grab a just a. We'll cut that shorter and stick it back up on there. Right. Yeah, let's get a razor blade. There, I, I had a good one in here. A little knife. I was just getting a flat blade. Well, guys, she cranked up. We just want to hear her run some more. Had a hose blow out here. So we're going to try to cut some slack off this. 
when I'm good old. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. Watch your hand, because it's, it's pretty nasty. There you go. All righty. May have to cut this off. I'll have this black stuff all over my face, all over the place before it's done. Well, means the water, hang on, if I get that clamp. Means the water pump's probably working too. I didn't know what was spraying out at first. I just seen something spraying and I realized it was the water by the time I told you to stop. That means it's gonna be cold while you're riding around in it because of the heater. Yeah. Could um, you hear anything out here? It's I loud. couldn't tell. It's it was, loud. It was so, yeah. I'd like to let it run a little bit and get so it. Let's get that PCV valve back in that valve cover there. Well, they got a little dirt hover nest yeah. all over the place. Give me some of this stuff. To eat. I guess everybody has dart daubers. I mean, I don't know if that's a thing <laughs> everywhere or what. Had a few people asking earlier what it was. Yeah, it looks like, I don't know what you would say. I've heard dirt daubers, mud daubers. Yeah. Name. Nature's own welder. <laughs> they make some pretty nice welds sometimes. If there's a hole normally though, they'll, they'll get it in and they'll start doing whatever it is they have to do to create a mess for somebody. That one don't want to break off. It don't want to break off. I bet it will though. It can hang on. It can hang on there. Gives it character. <laughs> well, you want to get some where you got some? Yep. Let's see if we can keep it. Uh... Yeah, I had just started. Let me go ahead and fill that bowl up again a little bit with some gas. We're going to try to crank it again. And dad's got some uh, carb cleaner here. We're gonna to try to keep it running, uh, maybe idle for a little bit, and then attempt to possibly hook us a gas tank up here and see if this fuel pump's gonna pump up to the carburetor and uh, see what it does. It's funny, they've got like a, on this exhaust manifold, they've got like a little chain wrapped around it where the pipe hooks up to it. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. You know it's a beast. We got it chained down already. Well, uh, I'm trying to think, was it? Yeah, I can hit it from here. I'll uh, like once said, it I'll... cranks up, and I know it's not going anywhere. I'll <laughs> I'll resituate. Here we go. it starts to die. But yeah, I hear it when it's dying, but I don't really hear it when it's... Yeah, like I said, I didn't hear it whenever it was running. I thought, well, it's gone, and then when it started to die, yeah. I hear that tuck, 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 tuck. Is the choke... It's open, huh? It sure is revved, huh? I don't know if we need to do some adjustment on or something. Let's see, where's it go in there? Lifts like that. Can't always see nothing, huh? Oh, I bet it's right here. I'm gonna grab a stool. Well, guys, what do you think? She sounds like an old... Old farm truck, Farm sure. truck. I just got up here and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> One of those moments where you completely forget. Should be an idle adjustment somewhere on it, you yeah. think? I think it's...
But it is. It's hitting that, yeah, that's so what it really saying. won't really won't go down much more. I know I'm probably blocking everything for you guys. <laughs> we were gonna try to idle it down just a little bit, but it looks like it's all the way screwed down and we've got the choke wide open, so <clears throat> Most of the time you try to choke it, then it'll rev up. So I say let's go ahead and try to uh, hook some gas into that. I right. wish if that gas looked a little better, I, it probably would fire off of it. It probably would. It's... It could be real gummed up too, though. I hate to have it running and then, <laughs> and then... put that in it. And then be fighting, working backwards. Hop on a few comments here while he's grabbing our old faithful gas tank. Uh, I think we're just we're gonna try out the uh, that mechanical fuel pump on the side of the block. So hard to kill one of those blocks. Maybe the clutch assembly. Maybe so. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. It's you don't really hear it so much uh, when it's running. Uh, here in person, like when it died down, I'm like that. I could hear just a little bit, uh, but it's kind of weird. It sounds decent when it revs and everything. Put some fuel stabilizer in it. We're about to just put some fresh fuel <laughs> in it, so. As fresh as the gas stations here in town sell it. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not raining, man. It is it is super, super cloudy out here, but. I really don't know where to set that. Will it not stay right there? It, it keeps on to tilt over. There we go, I think I got it. Wedged in there good enough. I'm ready to see, let it idle and Try to see this bed move. We can put Christian's little smart car up in that thing and mm -hmm. take it to <laughs> take it to the dump where it belongs. Yeah, that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's all right, little car. Yeah, uh, it kind of, she kind of had a reality check the other day though on Sunday night after church uh, we got to witness a pretty bad wreck up here at the intersection in that that she realized that she probably needs a nose on the front of her car yeah those, mm -hmm. they say they're they're pretty safe cars though I mean on the on the safety ratings and stuff but I mean there's nothing there to them right got her hooked up yeah it shows me right around half the tank on that so that should get me, uh, let me that should get me out of the drive well, I guess I'll just I don't try think to it's it. going to take much, honestly. If there was already fuel, well, it may it probably has already pumped up what was from the pump into that line, but we'll try it again. Yeah, let me go ahead and just put what I've got left in here anyways into that bowl. See if I can. Have a few people saying it's a PTO. Maybe, yeah, I never thought about that. So we'll kind of get to see once we get it idling and we try this bed off, this bed out, because that's what it's going to run off of is that PTO. Uh, we'll kind of get to see if the noise gets worse or maybe goes away or what happens. But I've never messed with one of these uh, dump style beds, so. Uh, I told Dad, be sure to familiar, familiarize <laughs> yourself with it, so best you can. Yeah. All righty, she's going to idle this time. I'm going to be able to get out of the truck <laughs> and walk around.
Something ain't right with that. Uh, thing shouldn't take off revving like that. Uh -huh. Even the pedal don't feel right right now, so I don't know if something has. Let me press it again. Look like it's working? Yeah, it's working. Does it come back more there? It's hitting that uh, choke, ain't it? Up top, where yeah. it was before. So it can't go. Well, no. I don't know. Do it. It's not even working that part of it. Is it not? Uh-uh. So I'm maybe that maybe that screw there is. So I'll show you. Nope. <laughs> 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 They said to make sure with that PTO that the lever is pulled down, whatever that means. You know what I mean? It's not even. <laughs> hey, uh, it's squirting gas though. When you're doing that. Yeah. Let me take my hat off. Y'all don't laugh at my hair. Try to keep my shirt pulled down. <laughs> uh. It's definitely squirting gas. Yeah. Sure sounds like it is. Oh yeah, so it is. That screw needs to be adjusted. Here. Yeah. Okay. Come mm. out with it. A little short screwdriver. Uh, yeah, flat blade, flat head. Oh. Feet tangled up in the fuel pump wire. Trying to get this thing idled down some. Shame we're outside, still need a light just to yeah. see just a little bit. That's another thing, too. We weren't for sure how long we'd have uh, daylight. Daylight. Especially with it being cloudy. Now, the only other thing I've seen, once you get down, I'll, I'll show you. you. Try that. I backed it off pretty good ways. That right up there where it attaches, right there? Yeah. No, further up. Towards the, the right, right there. Yeah. yeah, that's why I was I was doing it here, but I was looking there. Right. Yeah, it's just loose. Okay, I couldn't tell if it was loose or it's about to fall off or if it needed to be tightened or. No, it's. I don't know. Yeah. It looks like it's on there, but it's. It's on there. What it's up in is loose. Yeah. Uh, we might press it a couple times. I'll see. I say it sounds like it's pumping, squirting it in there. Yeah, we'll try that. I don't know if it's just, I don't know. Yeah. The... I'll play around with that choke some too. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it just acts like it's just the fuel pump's not, or something's not steady with it. Well, if. It's got that, it's got fuel in the bowl. It has to be squirting oh, yeah, in true. there. But it's not staying steadily. It's like <laughs> it rubs up and rubs down. Or unrubs. Hey, I'm going to try to choke it some. Has that choked it? Yeah, it choked it some. It's uh, so it actually idled, a hot idle. I was trying to let off that choke some so it could breathe a little bit more. And yeah. I think it just hasn't quite. Can we spray that with something or is it just in the cable? It's in the, it's loose right there where it attaches. Yeah. 
Uh, I can try to tighten that, see if that'll, but it's. I think it's all I right. think the whole cable is not the correct connection on there anyway, so. So we've been at it, wow, only 39 minutes so far, and it's idly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a typical uh, live revival video for us. Normally no. we're at the uh, yeah. hour and 49 minute mark, and we're like, come on, just, just at least yeah. sit Spark. there. And, yeah. Try to pop off. So, uh, do you want to try to see if we can get it to? If I'll, I'll try to get it to run a little longer. I'm not real sure what RPM is best to start trying to use that bed. If it's a high RPM when you start uh, tilting it, in, uh, working it, or what? I can say the one that the city's got. I can try out the transmission too and kind of see if it's done anything since. Uh, so like I said earlier, when we moved this up here, we could put it in any gear and it would just roll, you know, and didn't matter if you had the clutch, uh, you know, pushed in, uh, not pushed in. Uh, it was just like the rear end was like as in neutral. So with it being a two speed rear end, uh, I've read up that there's like a spring, like if you, from what I read, if you don't park these things in high gear, sometimes they would pop out and your, your truck would be uh, sitting in the ditch whenever you went back to check on it. So I'm hoping that maybe that's what's happened. That spring just kind of let it pop into neutral or something. So we can try that real quick. I may go ahead and put something uh, in front of these or I can try reverse. I can like Christian there. <laughs> yeah. Y'all being mean to me this afternoon. First my smart car and now me. Oh, well, you gotta de you gotta defend yourself. We're toughening you up. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a rough world nowadays. So. Even your family comes after you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and see what this thing does to see if it seems to go in gear. If we can keep it running again. I've got it shifted in the low right now for that rear end, supposedly, if that stuff's working. Uh, so we're gonna crank it and see. Got it in first gear, I'm gonna see what she does. Can you 
see if that. Hey, it's going. It's spinning back there. I thought I was just fixing to ask. I don't know if this lever here is it's not pulling very far for the lift. You can kill it and we'll check some stuff out back here. So, bad no worky so far. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, Dad's, Dad's messing with the levers in there, but it's not seeming to want to do anything. I, I was scared to stick my head up underneath there too much <laughs> while he was messing with that stuff. But the PTO shaft back there, it is spinning, so I don't know if it needs maybe some, uh, some hydraulic fluid or something that maybe it's leaked out. <clears throat> maybe they broke this thing whenever, whatever twisted the bed. I don't know. The, the lines are, look to be solid on it. Uh, but we're going to dig up underneath there. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just grab a camera and move it around so you guys can kind of see us a little better. Can you see it from the, the 24 over there? Not really, huh? Ah, oh, we set that table right. <laughs> set right on top of it. Right over there. Hey Christian, if you want to, uh, if you want to, while we're getting this ready, go mm -hmm. ahead and pop up that ad. So uh, yeah. we always, you know, try to find some pretty cool old ads to go with these things. It's hard. It was hard to find an ad for this uh, actual actual uh, era of truck, but we did find a really cool truck, a really cool ad on these old C50 medium style trucks. Uh, probably around the 80s, I think this video was made. So super entertaining, something that you watch in school and fall asleep watching. Uh, anyways, <laughs> we're going to pop it up here real quick and we're going to try to get a camera moved over there. Chevy has the medium duty trucks that buyers are looking for. With the right features and power teams to get the job done. Along with a wide variety of accessories to help tailor the vehicle to the buyer's needs. Right now, I'd like to share with you an overview of the medium duty market and how we at Chevrolet are prepared to provide Chevrolet customers with the right truck for the job. There are now almost four and a half million medium duty trucks on the road. Replacement cycles vary, but original owners usually trade their trucks after four to seven years. In the medium duty category, that amounts to approximately 165 to 200,000 new vehicle deliveries per year. More than a quarter of all medium duties are used in agricultural vocational applications, followed by school buses, 18%, and wholesale retail distribution at 16%. Other popular applications are in construction, service industries, and utilities. Chevrolet's vocational application breakdowns are similar. As you know, in most cases, operating a medium duty is a cents per mile business. Reliability is equally important. So buyers look for value, toughness, and efficiency in operation, including fuel economy when making their purchasing decisions. And as fuel costs rise and availability fluctuates, the increased concern for economy is arousing greater interest in the diesel engine. Aside from economy, Medium duty buyers are looking for tough trucks at competitive prices with plenty of handling features and driver comfort as well as good service after the sale. These have traditionally been Chevy's strong points. We've taken a well-established proven truck, refined it, and added new components to make Chevy trucks a sound investment in 1980. I think that's going to be your, your pump one in there. Yeah. The other, the other one comes. So we're trying to look here, guys, and figure this mess out to make sure everything is, uh, is engaging. It is spinning. I saw it spinning, but there's like a kind of like what I would, like a carrier bearing would be on a drive shaft. They've got one here on this as well that's just broke loose. But uh, trying to make sure everything looks to be engaging. I hope you guys can see. It's kind of hard to see up underneath here with the lighting and uh, just lack of cord. <laughs> we are spinning here. I don't know why we're not lifting. Anybody know uh, know more about these than we do, which won't take nothing to, <laughs> to do that. 
So that you 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 know for sure. Yeah, that's working it right there. Do you know for sure when you were pulling that it was pulling this out? The or? the one that says pump on it was pulling out for sure. I pulling mean it, it was coming way out. It was coming six eight inches out. Well, let me. Uh, this other one it goes into the the back of this transmission. I think that's it. I may be wrong. I think I am wrong. That's that one. Let's see if that's the one that's pulling that. Can't really tell. Hey, can you watch this? Can you see that lever right there? When I move yeah. it? Yep. That yeah, that, that one's moving in and out. All right. What about the other one? Can you move it? No. Yeah. Okay, it's right here. It's about as much as I can get on it. That's uh, that's pretty well all of it. Because so, it's got a, it's got a, the outside coating on that cable. This thing's coming right up to it, so it's. Can you pull it again? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's all the way, as far as I can tell. What does that run to? To the transmission, the side of the transmission. Hmm. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know if she needs some fluid in her. That's pulling that all the way, too. But I mean, we got fluid leaking out of this pump. Yeah, that's what I seen while ago, and that's what I was thinking, I thought. It could be, I don't know how long it's set, but. I don't see. I wonder if you just needed to rev it up a little more. Maybe it's got a spin at a certain, I wouldn't think so, but it could be. We were trying. I don't see any like. That's scary there. Tank <laughs> reservoir or nothing like that. that... <laughs> yeah, it needs a boat run right through there. Oh, it held it from the side? Held it from the side, I believe. Well, yeah, I'll bet that, well, I don't know, that's. Let's, uh, let's try it one more time. Give her a little bit more RPMs and see if it tries to move something. It's funny because uh, we've got the camera set up on automatic. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's really getting that dark here, but it's it's kind of starting to get dark pretty soon. Am I having messing you up? Yeah, you keep, <laughs> you keep turning ways. All right, we'll try it again. So you think pull both of them out? Yeah, the the one that says pump that should. I mean, surely it's got to. I'll look and see what what does what whenever you do it. Well, I know which one does what, but. When I pulled that the pump, when the that drive shaft or the shaft started turning right, uh, I think we'll try it.
Yeah. I'm going to say it's low on fluid. Yeah. You can, hear, you can hear it starts to put the motor in the bind, but... Yeah. Right there. I think it just doesn't have anything to force around or nothing. I don't know how you get it. It doesn't have a reservoir for it. Check it. Uh. So, we have any comments on? Uh, we think maybe it might be low on fluid. But yeah, that's what the comments are saying. So, we're trying to find out where it doesn't have any kind of uh, tank or anything like that. I'm assuming that it just holds everything in the pump, uh, in the in the lines there, and the, the hydraulic ram itself. But. There's got to be some place, which we ain't got none no how. Says, so. look for a plug on top of the cylinder. Yeah. It's what Dad's doing now, trying to find something. There's a, there's a little bitty screw right there, but yeah. I'm going to say it's like a 3 eighths. Like I said, we ain't no. got no, no kind of hydraulic fluid here anyway. So I don't know where or how you would, surely it's got to have some way to. Not sure. So you can hear it kind of. Bog the engine down, yeah, yeah just a hair. And being that it's so out of whack, you never know what kind of bind it is to lifting in anyways. Well, guys, I think we should try to see if she'll move around, though, a little bit more than what we did a while ago. So I'll, uh, I don't think the bed's going to work. We're not really prepared for that. Uh, we're going to have to figure out if the pump's bad in it. Uh, it is spinning down there, the, the, the shaft going to the pump spinning, and it's, it's leaking out hydraulic fluid there. Uh, but we just don't know if it's got enough to actually make it work and stuff. You can hear the motor kind of bog down a little bit, but it's not even trying to tilt the bed back. <clears throat> you want this camera out of the way? Yeah, we'll go ahead and move that and shoot for a new goal. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, you wanna You wanna sing? Yeah. Maybe dance? Mm-hmm. You wanna do a little merch shout out real quick? Uh sure I can. So we have our original tie-dye uh, flag tees. Um, I believe we're, on, we're in stock on all those sizes except for large. And uh, then we also have, you know, the B restored in the front of it. Uh, we have our old Betsy shirts, which is the, um, the old station wagon we did not too long ago. Uh, Micah Doodle did a kind of little drawing of it. It's really, really cool. And it's got uh, the Be Restored logo in the front as well. And then we have, have our show. Uncle Frankie shirt, which is obviously my Uncle Frankie. Uh, it was over the video of the abandoned cars that we dug out of, like, the swamp. And it has my Uncle Frankie on the back and then the Restored logo on the front as well. So, yeah. Uh, you can get all those uh, at www.be-restored.com. And they're each $25, so... Bravo, bravo. Thank you. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done that. I was a little rusty about it. Do we, uh, so I lost, I accidentally unplugged the camera. Do we have it back? The uh, low camera? Let me look. Uh, I don't think so. Ah, we lost it, didn't we? It yeah, looks a little bit frozen on my end. It's, that, it, it's looking it? at the truck, so okay. it, it messed up. Okay. Uh, Hmm. Strange. Not really sure that we can <laughs> fix that at this point. So we know it's going to run. We know she's going to move. I was hoping we had that camera to show it a little better, but we've got other cameras. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to start pulling off some of these GoPros, though, uh, because for some reason you can't drive off with GoPros <laughs> wired into the computer. You can. Yeah, I don't think it'll drag. This truck will drag Christian <laughs> yeah. with it, though. So yeah. uh, we're going to unhook these GoPros real quick. 
And uh, I'm going to try to see if I can move her around, see what she does. So uh, hang tight real quick. we got another cool little lad here, and we'll catch back with you. All right, guys, uh, we're trying to top off this little gas tank real quick. Uh, we're losing cameras. Obviously, we lost our GoPros because we had to, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to go ahead and top her off. That way I don't, I don't know how far I'll go. I don't know if I'll make it all the way into Oklahoma or not, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what she does. <laughs> this is entertaining. I wish uh, we had a GoPro to um, show that. Yeah, it's like I'm <laughs> shooting from Oklahoma. <laughs> Terry White hey. said, let Christian drive. I want to see her behind that big wheel. Can you imagine me being used to riding my smart car, trying to drive that? I'd crash the moment I got in there. If you had some experience with a standard, I'd definitely let you try, oh, but yeah. this is Especially a big truck a with standard. no brakes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't see much anyways. It rolls too easy. That's what I don't like about it. Mm -hmm. Maybe the emergency brake will work. Hopefully. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to try to drive it around. If it seems to, maybe if the emergency brake does work uh, and I get gutsy enough to make it to take it cross country, <laughs> we'll just have Dad uh, follow me along with the camera. We've got our computer on wheels so Christian can just push it around like a cart. And yeah. <laughs> but no, they'll try to follow me around with the camera some maybe. Well, I did the fun part. Now, which camera is it I'm supposed to chase? So, you with? that camera right there will probably stay stationary. It'll view mm -hmm. a pretty good ways. And then that one right there, if I happen to. I won't get far because that power cord's on Yeah, me. Yeah, that's all right then. Let's see what she does. If you go too far and you crash, then we'll just have to take your There's word stuff on stuff behind the back wheel. Back huh? wheel, yep. Hang on just a second. Okay. Try to kick it out. I got it in gear if it stayed in gear. Do what? I got it in gear if it stayed in there. I'll probably drive over it. Either that or you're going to have to pull forward. All right. Yeah, I'll just do that. Won't take me a second to yank it out, but. Got it. Try this emergency bike when I roll back or something. Oh. It's not working. <laughs> 
trying to get comfortable first. <laughs> Can't get the, I guess the brake don't work. It must not be working. Yeah. It rolls too easy. Yeah. I don't know. That's supposed to be where you can adjust it. I don't know if you can. That screw that in. I can't even get the thing to work. It may not work at all, so I don't know. Nah, it's alright. Only no brakes. Where'd he go? Try reverse. She's moving my camera. That's what I was using for my backup mirror. <laughs> Am I good over there? Am I good over there? You're good on this side. I'm trying to get it in first, keep from rolling. Grind them till you find there them. There we go. Try this bed again. Nope. Y'all got some corn y'all need picked up? Yeah. <laughs> There's no smart car over there, you just pick it up. I'm trapped, I can't get out of here. You got it moving. I don't know if I make this turn or not. <laughs> for the ditch. One good thing about here in Bogota, usually the ditches are just as smooth as the roads. So. Well, a lot braver than I am on it. I wish this bed would work. She's running pretty good. My dad put my brake down there. You good? Good. I'm gonna try the bed one more time. a lot braver than what I would be with it. <laughs> well, I was I was like, I'm afraid I'm gonna take out that tractor this thing so long because I could see nothing <laughs> behind me there. But 
All right, guys. Well, I would say this is another successful live video we have here. Uh, we were able to get her up and running pretty easy. Glad that rear end started working out for us. Wish we could have seen the bed tilt up and down. It may be just something as simple as figuring out where we can put some hydraulic fluid in this thing. So we'll probably look around on that uh, next chance we get. We kind of bought this truck. I found it on Marketplace. It was pretty reasonable. I love the front end on it. Uh, they're, just, they're just really cool trucks. A lot of people are making just some really cool rat rod projects with them. So for the most part, the drivetrain, everything else, a lot of people aren't even interested in. They're mainly interested in the cab. But uh, with that being said, we probably are going to end up selling this truck. So if anybody's interested in it. We'll start taking bids now. We'll, we'll take some bids. You know she runs like a top. Uh, we made it, if I'd have threw some sticks in there, we could have said we done made our first delivery <laughs> with it, but uh, we'll figure out that bed maybe, but she is for sale if anybody's interested. Uh, be sure to reach out to us at cravencustoms at live.com. Uh, that email address is on the description of all of our videos as well. Uh, so dad, you're trying to just look like you're an arm there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> But anyway, so uh, I guess we're going to wrap this one up. This was a little bit shorter than our typical video, but uh, I'm glad we got her up and going. Uh, she's definitely got some potential for somebody that's wanting to do something with it. Uh, just you may want to buy it for your grandma to drive to church on Sundays. May do it. <laughs> and haul the kids <laughs> with them. All the kids, them. yeah. Haul the kids and haul the sheep to church. So, uh, All right, so Christian, you want to hop over here real quick, and we'll go ahead and give them a... Sure. So uh, she did more work than than what we probably did. She was over there busy. I seen her moving <laughs> camera. back and forth between two cameras. <clears throat> moving cameras and trying to switch angles and everything else. So there's a lot of work that goes in behind these uh, these live videos. A lot of work that goes in behind these uh, produce videos that we're working on as well. So I think when you watch the Herbie video, you guys are probably going to be like, now I understand why it took them so long. Right. So uh, it's something that we're really proud of. We hope that it reaches a million views uh, sometime in its lifespan. You know, we're not uh, we're not shooting for something that's going to happen overnight, but we definitely think it's a good video that uh, that anybody can like, car person, non-car person, mm -hmm. or whatever. So uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. So I uh, just wanted to thank my sister for everything she does for us. Want to thank y'all for uh, hanging out with us. Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you to all of our members. Thank you to everybody that's uh, donated, commented on these videos. Any kind of support, yeah. Yeah, any mm -hmm. kind of support through merch, through um, uh, email, you just, you know, stopping talking, by. stopping yep. by at the shop, uh, whatever it may be. And uh, speaking of support, thanks to Alt Driver for uh, allowing us to stream on their platform as well. So, uh, I think we're going to have to shut it down. We're about to run out of daylight. It doesn't mm -hmm. look like it to y'all, but it's it's getting pretty dark here. So, uh, y'all got anything to say? Dad, you're always the talkative one. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm at. I think Lance was the one full of words today. So, mm -hmm. so hit us up. There's somebody on that that's going to watch this video that wants to uh, that wants to buy this and needs to buy this truck. So. Uh, she's not too bad looking though. I wouldn't mind setting her up in our lineup for a little bit, but she is a little big and if you guys can, couldn't tell, we have a lot of stuff out here already, but uh, I guess we'll, we'll wrap that up. I forgot to mention the biggest support of all and the biggest everything. Uh, thanks to God for everything he's done for us. Uh, not to mention just on this channel, but just throughout our lives. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll close this out in prayer real quick. And uh, we can't wait to see you on the next one. I think we're going to try to go ahead and have another one next Thursday. So uh, we're trying to, trying to get some more content out to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out in prayer real quick. So dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you and we praise you for this day, Father. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that you've blessed us with to, to be able to find this truck, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that you've blessed us with to be able to spend time with with these people, Lord, that are across the world, Father, Lord, that, that we may not even know each other, Father, but we're all family, we're all your children, Lord, and we thank you for that, Father. We thank you for the favor for helping us to get this truck up and running, Lord. But we just thank you, Lord, for, for creation, Father. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for salvation, Father. We thank you for your love, for your compassion, for your protection on our lives. 
Even when we don't even realize it, Father, you're working, and we thank you for that, Lord. And Lord, we just ask that you continue to direct us, continue to direct our, our fans and our audience, Lord, the people that watch this show, Lord. Lord, just ask that you send them a special blessing, Father. Let them, let them feel your presence throughout this week, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. So thanks, guys, and we will see you on the next one, next week, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs>